hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how to use and design menu component to create our top header navbar and how we can make it responsive so that on the desktop or larger resolutions we show the menu in horizontal navbar and when we are on the smaller resolutions or on the mobile resolution we show a menu hamburger button and on click of that we can show the menu in the drawer and user can use the menu from there so let's get started I have an empty react.js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing. So let's go ahead and import the menu component from and design and start using it. So it will be menu. I have a separate video on how to create and use the and design menu. I will add its link in the i button as well as in the description below so that you can take a look. So for the menu we will be using the items props. It will be an array of objects where each object will contain a label and the key the label is the one that we need to show on the ui and the keys we need to provide the unique key so that the menu knows which item has been clicked so let's save it here you go it has added the menu let's copy and add few menu items so maybe we can say contact us and this is you can say contact and we can say about us and we can say about and here maybe we can say login and save it here you go for the desktop we can maybe show that horizontally and that we can say its mode is horizontal save it here you go Okay, let's add some styling to the main div and we can say its height is 100 vh so that it takes all of the height and maybe we can say a background color of maybe rgb we can say 0 comma maybe 150 comma 255 uh, bluish color okay looks good let's add the styling to this menu as well so maybe we can say background color is maybe dark orange and color to be white and we can add a little bit font size to maybe 30 maybe 24 is enough okay okay so this is how the menu looks like uh, on the desktop and if suppose we want to uh, make it responsive so that uh, when we are uh, near to the mobile or when this is like this way uh, instead of uh, dismissing it or showing them inside this three dots we can maybe show a menu hamburger uh, button here and on click of that we can display in a drawer or something like that so uh, for that we can reuse this menu component and maybe we can copy this one and create a separate component for this uh, app menu we can say app menu and here we can return whatever we have inside the menu right and here instead of this one we can just say the app menu right save it it will be still the same and then then we can show the drawer and inside the drawer we can show the same app menu right and here we can say it's open save it here you go it has shown uh, the drawer the same thing is here so here uh, it is the menu is showing horizontally we can show that uh, in line uh, for this mode we can uh, do that using a prop we can say is inline and by default it will be false and here we can check if is inline then we can show that inline otherwise horizontal right for showing inside the drawer we can say inline is true and we can add the style to this drawer uh, so that it, it looks uh, to dark orange and here we can say uh, close able 
is false there you go and then we can give it a style uh, we can say the the body style is background color of dark orange there you go save it there you go and maybe we can remove this line as well if it looks bad so that will be inside the menu and here we can say the border is none okay and we can now select any of these right and on clicking outside we can just dismiss this one the drawer and for that we can use the state we can say open menu and by default it's false and let's import that from the react and instead of the open is true we can say open menu and on close uh, we can implement a function like that we can set open menu to false when this is closed right and we can add a uh, button or the menu button uh, to show this one okay so for that maybe we can inside a div we can show the menu outline uh, uh, again from the end design and save it there you go it has shown the menu button but uh, but hold on we will be sh only showing this menu hamburger button or this the whole menu items uh, responsibly so let's first uh, show both and then we can uh, add the media queries to uh, hide and show between the based, based on the browser width okay so let's add a style to make it similar to uh, this color so we can say background color is again dark orange and height is maybe you can say 60 pixel okay and then we can say for this menu outlined uh, we can give it a style and we can say its color is white here you go and add a font size as well and that we can say around 30 is enough maybe okay so let's add a few padding we can say padding left is maybe 12 pixel and also padding top is 12 okay so if we know uh, i mean recommend this one this is how it will look like on the mobile and if we comment this one this is how it will look like on uh, on the browser okay so let's uncomment and uh, on click of this uh, icon uh, we can display the drawer or the side menu so if we can say on click is equal to a function and inside that we can say set open menu to true save it and if we click on this it will show so let's change its uh, placement to the left okay here you go and now if we click outside that it dismiss it and click again it shows right okay so let's add the uh, classes uh, to this div so that we can hide that chain and also we can uh, add a class to this drawer maybe we can add a, a little span over that and we can hide the whole span so we can say its class name is header menu and maybe its class name is you can say menu icon save it and let's copy and go to the apps.css i have imported app.css already so right now it's uh, only importing the end design style so we can add the media query we can say add the media and when the max width is maybe we can say 800 pixels or we can just uh, get it from here 
so when it is like we can say 500 right when it is around 500 uh, then we can say Uh, the other one is the header menu copy and and we can say display is none right so here we are saying that till this maximum width of 500 pixels so we won't be showing the header menu and we will be doing the opposite for uh, the menu icon so we will be saying till this minimum width 500 pixel so we will be showing uh, this menu otherwise uh, we will be uh, dismissing it uh, we won't be showing the menu icon right so copy it and let's go so till 500 we will be showing this menu and after that we will be showing the the whole menu items right so till this maximum width of 500 pixel uh, we will be hiding the uh, whole menu items so the header menu is hidden and after this minimum width of 500 pixel we will be hiding the menu icon right so it will be either showing the menu icon or the header menu right so now if i increase the width so it will show the menu items and if i decrease the width it will show this only menu icon and if i click on that it will show like this way right so this is how we have made this responsive using the media query so based on your menu or uh, you can adjust uh, these values this 500 pixel based on your menu items so whether it is adjustable in 800 pixel or 1200 pixel or maybe it is only uh, two items we can adjust in maybe 200 pixels so it's up to your menu so we can show and hide the, uh, the whole menu items uh, or the menu icon based on our media queries right and the other details on how we can customize these menu items or how we can navigate to different pages based on click on these, these menu items. I have a separate videos on that. I will add uh, their links in the description below so that you can take a look, right? But this particular video was about making the header or the nav bar or the, our app menu responsive. But still, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have learned something in this video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.